Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try to integrate kx plus b. Now notice we have two terms inside here, separated by a plus sign. The whole thing is multiplied by dx. What that means is whenever we have multiple terms inside an integral sign, we can actually separate that into two separate integrals. We can write it as kx times dx, the integral of that, plus the integral of b times dx, and then we integrate them separately. So here we use the rule again where we add one to the exponent, divide by the exponent, so we end up with one half kx squared over two. And we have to add a constant of integration. Let's call that c1 as the constant of the first integration, plus when we integrate the constant, we get b times x, plus another constant of integration, let's call that c2 as being the constant of integration of the second integral. Now when we add these two together, c1 plus c2, we can just simply call that a constant. And so the integral will be 1 half kx squared for the first integral, plus bx for the second integral, plus a general constant of integration that we must have since we don't know if we had a constant there or not when we first started. Now let's take a, take a look at it graphically. Here we're on a, now we have the equation y equals kx plus b, where b represents the y-intercept. If you now take a look at the area underneath that curve, we can see that we can divide it into a triangle and a rectangle. So let's call A1 the area of the triangle and A2 the area of the rectangle. If you want to know the total area of the whole of this portion right here underneath the curve, we then integrate all the dA's and the dA's will still be the height times the width of this little sliver here, a very tiny little rectangle with very small thickness dx. So dA can now be defined as the height times the width, y times dx, which is equal to kx plus b for y times dx. Notice that the function y is represented right here, so we can replace y by what y is equal to. If we now integrate that, we get the same result as we had over here. But now let's take a look at those two areas. Let's say that area 1 is equal to the area of a triangle, which is 1 half the base times the height, which is 1 half times the base would be the distance from there to there, which is x, and the height would be the distance from here to here. That's this distance right here. That would be equal to the h right there. And the h is equal to y minus b, because this is the distance b. This is the distance y when x equals x. So this can be written as kx plus b minus b, which is equal to kx. So that's the height of my triangle, and here the height of my rectangle is equal to b. So that goes in here, k times x, which is equal to 1 half kx squared, which means this portion of the integral represents the area of that triangle. Now when I look at area 2, that is equal to a rectangle, that's the height times the width. And let me use a different symbol for that. So let me just use b times width. And the b, of course, is this b right there. That's the height. And the width, w, would be the length right here. That would be x. So bx here represents the area of the rectangle, which is this portion of the integral right here, a2. So you can see that, sure indeed, the integral kx plus b dx is equal to the area underneath the function represented by y equals kx plus b. And that's how you can relate, and that's how you can see how to calculate that integral.